Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, it's no news that Affinity is, is not part of Canva, which is an amazing tool for anyone who's thinking about creating amazing designs on the web. Canva has been a tool that has been free for a long time, and of course, it does have its own premium set of tools that you can have access to. But at the same time, Affinity is a beautiful tool. We've all come to love Affinity, amazing graphic tool, a very close alternative to what you have with both Photoshop, and they do have a suite of tools that also compete with a set of tools from Adobe. And with them being purchased by Canva, it only means that a couple of persons within the community may not necessarily be happy owing to the fact that when companies purchase other companies, especially if the mother deck company, in this case Canva, already offers subscription, the chances that subscription will be rolled out to Affinity is extremely high. And yes, that seems to be more like what the case would be like moving forward. And for that, the folks at Affinity have just released a pledge. So it is the Affinity and Canva pledge, which is a four part pledge. And I believe you might want to consider taking a look at this. So for simply go over the link in the description that will bring you right here. You can see the four pledge. So the pledges for the community includes fair pricing, accelerating Affinity, accessible for all and community led. And these deals with the fact that perpetual licenses would always be offered and they would always price affinity fairly and affordably. And we're going to talk about that one just in a bit. The second one deals with accelerating affinity, which means that affinity is here to stay and it will remain the highest quality pro design suite and they will now accelerate the rollout of new features. And with the third one chiming in with the fact that affinity suite will now be free for both schools and registered non-profit, which is something I believe a lot of us will be super excited about. And finally, it will be community led, which in context sort of means that Affinity's future will be guided by ideas from the community and also community feedback. But you know, we've all seen companies come and go, buy stuff in and out. We've seen that with Unity, we've seen that with Maxon, we've seen that with Adobe and also Autodesk, you know, all those companies. And th the thing here is this, that most companies have amazing ideas when they merge with other companies. We've seen most of these ones not really happen exactly how it's planned. Now for these four pledges, I'm sort of banking on the fact that the folks at Affinity will keep up with at least three of them. And the very first one is definitely the fair pricing. So fair pricing is relative. If we simply scroll all the way down, this doesn't say that subscription isn't gonna come. There will be perpetual license, which means there is also going to be subscription. So just in case you are thinking about what do they mean by that? There will be subscription as it says here that if we do offer a subscription, it would only ever be an option alongside perpetual models. And this brings us to a point where I have to reference something from the folks at Maxon. The thing with the perpetual license, we did see that with Cinema 4D as well, you get stuck in that particular build. And I think that might also be the same thing. Actually, Affinity is already doing that. So you, you purchase a version of Affinity. If you'd like to upgrade, you have to purchase a new version. And that is the model. You either have one version, stand down and stay with that version all the rest of your life, or you choose to move on to a new version and enjoy the new update, or you stay on subscription where you pay and use the tool exactly when you like to use it. So I think they will be staying with that as they are committed to continue offering perpetual licenses in the future. But I kind of think that updates might be rolled out every single quarter, which you might not be able to get if you're stuck with the previous version of a perpetual license, which might also inform your decision of purchasing another perpetual license. So I kind of think that the subscription thing might definitely come and a lot of people will glide towards that one. They're also thinking about doubling down on expanding Affinity's products through continued investment in Affinity as a standalone product suite, which is also another brilliant idea. But then it is what it is. Once companies get purchased, we know that 99% of the time, it is more of quality of life improvement that are bundled as features rather than major features themselves. So for that one, we might be getting more of quality of life features. And this is just me just, you know, picking these things apart, understanding the fact that these are things that have happened over and over. There's also the accessibility for all, which is super great. And I think this might be something that will be super useful, especially for nonprofit organizations that would like to create stuff and also for universities and potentially high schools as well. As Canva has actually pledged 30% of its value as a company towards doing good in the world through its two-step plan. And this two-step plan actually deals with becoming one of the most valuable companies 
and then do the most good that they can. And they've actually done this over time and more than 60 million students and teachers plus 600,000 charities and registered nonprofits have benefited from this each month. And this is what we have on paper. And of course, the folks at Affinity and Canva are excited to extend this program to include free access to both schools and nonprofit organizations to have access to both designer, photo, and also publisher tools from Affinity. And these professional grade tools will add enormous value to the free offering, helping millions of students master the craft of designing and empowering mission-driven organizations to amplify their voices and maximize their impact. And this is a worthy call. The community-led is also another beautiful idea, but We've also come to see that in most cases, community-led ideas do not necessarily fly, except they have been, you know, extremely voted on. And at that point, those things might be necessary. But for what it is, it is pretty interesting to see that the folks at Affinity alongside Canva have noticed the fact that the community has a bit of skepticism about the whole handshake that is going on in terms of the merger. And they have put out this community pledge to state the fact that they are here for the community and they will keep on creating and producing tools and features that we would love to work with. And one thing which I did notice when I had to go over to their page to just check out a couple of things before talking about this whole thing is this stuff right here. So sometime in 2022, of course, this is now way back. Sometime in 2022, they did say, ain't nobody acquiring us. But you know, TikTok, time will tell as time has told on this and potentially time will tell on this, which says no subscription in 30% off for both the desktop and also iPad tools. And time will also tell on this as well. So this is it. For those who like to read up on this, probably you like to catch up on it. Or maybe you like to read up on the fact that, you know, they were purchased. All of the things that we talked about, the community growth, all of the statistics from both Affinity and also from Canva, then links to this is definitely going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Canva is an amazing tool and Affinity, on the other hand, is a beautiful tool. And with the right approach and the right modalities being put in place, this might just be the bet of something super amazing. And for those who haven't checked this out, we already made a couple of videos about it. And we're going to put some links in the description that can guide you through. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. What do you think about the pledges? Do you think they'll keep up to it? What are your thoughts about subscription or perpetual license owning? And would you stick to Affinity if they switch to subscription? Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.